Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. It's Antonia and I know I'm finally posting a lot more regularly because I have to say I was busy and the reason why I was busy was not only because my family from Hong Kong was visiting, it's because I was offered a job at Aritzia. Now if you guys follow me for a long time, YouTube or Instagram, you will know that I wear and buy a lot of Aritzia clothes. So being offered a job at Aritzia was an amazing, amazing thing. It was basically a dream come true. I've never ever applied to work at Aritzia before. Um, my work background as like a teenager, I always worked for one company because I kept getting called back for them in the summer and I've only worked one retail job before. So. I've never applied to work at Aritzia, I've always wanted to because hello, I love the clothes, I love the company as a whole and being offered a position, I was gonna take it. So let's talk about how I got a job there in the first place. So I tag Aritzia a lot on Instagram because I only wear their clothing so I always tag at Aritzia or hashtag Aritzia, hashtag my Aritzia, hashtag Aritzia Cali or whatever the current hashtags for Aritzia is and basically that's how I was found. Now I was DM'd by a talent acquisition manager and I was basically offered to have a conversation with her. Now I emailed her back because she did give me her formal email. That's how I knew it wasn't fake. Don't think that at Aritzia Influencers is a real Aritzia company. I don't think it is. It definitely is not. They would not DM a 400 and whatever follower person. Like, I don't know. They would definitely not DM me to be an influencer for them. Okay, whatever. I currently have 500 and something followers. Like, they would not DM me. Trust me. But I am a local Toronto girl, and we got hella lot of Aritzia stores in my town. So I was DM'd by a talent acquisition manager and I accepted the conversation invitation. So I basically booked an appointment with her. I met her in front of an Aritzia store. We just chatted outside of the store. We had a really casual, casual conversation. It was just me and her. She basically talked about her background with the Aritzia company, talked about Aritzia as a whole, talked about their sales and their goals and what they wanted from their staff. And then she brought the conversation onto me. It was my turn to talk. And I talked about my background. I told them the details of myself. I told them I have a full-time job. I am not looking for something more than two days a week. I told them what I did for a living, how I got into it. They basically want to get to know you. They want to know your background, your ambitions, your dreams, what you are looking for, and all of that jazz. They really want to get a sense of your personality when you're meeting with them. So that's really basically all that happened. I had like a maybe five to 10 minute conversation with her and she said, I'm going to pass your information on to a manager and I will let you know when we get that interview set up. So I was emailed again. She offered me whatever dates that were available. I went to meet with the manager of the store and just so you guys know, I was placed in a boutique that was specifically branded. So as you guys know, there's Babaton, Wilfred, TNA within the Aritzia stores, but those house brands have their own stores as well. So I was placed in a Wilfred store, which thank the heavens I was, but we'll get into that later on in my other videos. But I was placed into a Wilfred specific store. And when I met with the manager, it was basically the same conversation, talked about herself, how she grew in the company, yada 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 and then what brought it back to me I talked about my availability how I'm responsible blah 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 so it was really the conversation is really really chill there's nothing that is really strenuous about it because it's it's honestly just to get to know you as a person. I don't know if it was different for me because I was sought after and I wasn't looking for the job specifically, but yeah, I was really clear about what I did for a living already and how I have a job already, so I they know that I can't not work more than the dates that I was given. So because of that, um, after that I was hired basically and I got the job. So I've been working there for a month now and yeah girl had to quit because I was getting tired. But 
basically I wanted to put this out there because if you are looking to get a job at Aritzia and you're applying through online, they are out, honestly always hiring people. The turnover rate is kind of high because I think a lot of students apply there. If you have a passion for fashion, then it's a great place to start as well. I know people are able to grow within the company really quickly. Like my manager started as a sales associate and then when the Wilfred uh, store opened, she was able to become the store manager. Like that's a big jump. There's the merchandiser I worked with, she started as a sales associate at another store and then she became a merchandiser for my store. So like there is tons of room to grow in this company and there's always, always sales associate, boutique associate, um, there's always sales associate and boutique sales associate positions available because they are just always looking for people. They want really passionate people to work for their store. I have to say anyone who works at Aritzia basically breathes and lives Aritzia. Like they all love the store and honestly, hello, you can't not like the store. This clothing is beautiful. Like hello, look at this jacket I have on. Beautiful. Look at the tube top I got on. Really cute. So you can't blame them. They really do love Aritzia as the company. The company is great too. If you work there full time, there's also benefits and um, everyone does also get a clothing discount, which is great. Now, the discounts do vary and I know Lily, which I will link her video below, she talked about like secrets that Aritzia employees don't want you to know. She talked about the discount and I have to say my discount was 10% higher than what she had if I only bought at my store and the rest was the same. And then I think there are seasonal people and the seasonal people only get like a, a lower discount as well but it's like too much information that I actually don't physically like actually know because I only worked there for a month so it's not like I would like know all the no stuff. When I did work there though, I bought a lot of stuff. Like, your girl went ham. I think I spent like $2,000 there. It was insane. So, discount is amazing. The discount is amazing, but yeah. If you're planning to try to apply there, make sure you have a lot of customer service based experience. And I know it's hard to put on there if you've never even had a job. It's really great to put some sort of customer service like you could do volunteering and kind of spin it as customer service because Aritzia is very customer service based they really value their customers and they really value the people that work wear their clothing so it's really important that you have a huge customer service background otherwise if you've never dealt with customers and hello you're working retail so there are difficult people to deal with it's harder for you to kind of process that so that's my two cents on how to get a job at Aritzia I can't say everyone will be contacted this way, but I'm sure that's how they really try to acquire their talent just because if you wear their clothes in the first place then they know you like the product. It's really important that you know under and understand their product because their product, every little boutique does stand for a different woman. Babaton is very business-like, Wilfred is more casual, but also kind of for like an everyday different style woman. Wilfred Free is very casual, like, you know, there's different women that wear the different clothing. TNA is obviously teenager based because I don't even think I own anything TNA anymore. Maybe like a sweater that I got for free. Just know when you go into the interview, it's really important to know the product and really important that you have amazing customer service, amazing selling skills. So that's all if you guys have questions let me know down below and i will surely answer them as i get them follow me on at hello harley blog if you have any questions it's probably easier to dm me there because youtube doesn't update as fast as instagram does so when i do get a dm at least i get the notification but with youtube i'd have to check in order to get a notification so let me know if you guys have questions about getting a job there my next video will be about my experience working there and i will talk to you guys in the next video good luck